All right, so my succulent plants have been neglected over the summer, so I'm going to resolve this issue and be environmentally friendly at the same time, you know, especially living in California where we always seem to be in a drought. Um, fortunately, uh, right next to this area, I have a rain downspout uh, where I can attach a rain barrel to. So this will make watering the succulent more convenient. Let's get started. And for this particular project, I'm going to be using the uh, Earth-Minded FlexiFit Universal Diverter System. Um, I'll put a link of this product in the uh, description below. What I really like about the kit is it comes with the uh, two required hole saws. Um, it comes with the uh, diverter valve, which collects water and uh, diverts water when the barrel is full. We got the fill hose. Uh, we got a grommet. We got some uh, self-tapping screws, and we got uh, a cap for the winter time. And additional items you'll need, uh, a drill, a level, tape measure, yeah, Phillips head drill bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, pencil, uh, possibly a permanent marker, and some uh, dish soap to ease the installation. Okay. Uh, next, set up your cinder blocks and confirm that everything is flat. Alright, although the uh, instructions say to put the hole 3 inches below the lip, it puts it in a uh, suboptimal position for this particular uh, barrel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down 5 inches for the hole. And uh, also, I'm going to go five inches down at the down spot. Okay, and I attached the smaller hole saw to the drill. And this is the five inch mark. I start drilling the hole. All right, so what I did was I got a file to knock down some of these sharp edges. And next I put some uh, dish soap around this grommet to ease the installation. Okay, and next we're going to change to the larger hole saw. All right, next we're gonna drill into the downspout. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is put some more uh, dish soap onto the diverter valve. Okay, squeeze it and insert it into the newly created hole. Okay, next secure the diverter valve with these self-tapping screws. Okay, nice and secure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the insides with a little bit of dish soap. All right, let's confirm the uh, holes are drilled at the proper height, and it does indeed look like it's level. 
All right, and that completes the install. So now we just need to uh, wait for the next rainfall, which appears to be pretty soon. All right, so we had a nice day or so of rain. So uh, first, with the water, the barrel now has a nice solid feel. All right, so the rain filled the barrel about a quarter of the way up. So uh, we were able to confirm that the diverter valve system does indeed work. Um, fortunately, uh, the water level is above the sp spigot, so we can also test that out next. All right. All right, looks good. Now I'm able to conveniently get the water and also uh, water my succulents. All right, looks good. Uh, if you like what you see, please click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.